Welcome back to Restore Thrive. Double D, Dr. Tim. Today, we're going to execute a box squat. So what Tim is going to do is he's going to stand in his athletic position. He's going to have tall, dead bug spine, working down through his waist, down through his knees that go over his mid-steps. His toes are always pointed forwards. From here, he's going to look straight ahead. I like to have our athletes and our patients shoot their hands forward so they can see past their thumbs. This is coming 90 degrees off of his trunk, and it mimics what we do when we set up in our dead bug positions. What Tim's going to do, he's going to bring attention to his feet. He's going to grip the floor. He's going to act like there's a crack between his feet, and he's going to separate those tiles. With that tension, he's going to sit his bottom back down, kiss it off the box, and then stand right back up. Notice Tim's trunk is in the exact same position the entire time. It tips forward as his hips go back, and he has a parallel shin and trunk angle. Sit down. Kiss the box. Stand right back up. Awesome. This time, let your hands come down with you. Down. There we go. Right back up. Good. Do one more. Finish tall, finish strong. He's driving his hips through the movement and finishing tall. Drop your arms. Excellent work. If you have questions, comments, or concerns about the box squat, please drop us a line or hit us up at RestoreThrive.com.